Hello, my name is Dustin Curry, and for this week's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of something that I like to do on a Friday night, which is shove a shiny metal object into one of my orifices. It's not what you think, and probably not even the second thing you think, uh, because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shove this nail into my nose. What some of you might not know about me, because I don't necessarily talk about it in my YouTube videos, and uh, if you've gotten to know me since I moved to Dallas, I don't perform this very often. But something that I like to do with some of my free time is perform magic and sideshow stunts and comedy at uh, events and festivals. Unfortunately, the only magic trick that I have here in the house is this. And one of the things that I taught myself about five years ago is a sideshow stunt called the Human Blockhead. It was first developed back in the early 1900s by a gentleman named Melvin Burkhart, uh, and it is a sideshow stunt, which is different than a magic trick, in that a trick is something, it's an illusion, but a stunt is real. When you go to a sideshow, there are two different types of performers. There's the freaks, which uh, are people who have certain perhaps strange body qualities, depending on what your standard of strange is. This includes like the bearded lady, or people of large or small stature, or people with certain physical deformities. And then there's also the geeks, which are people who actually do weird things to themselves. The traditional term geek meant somebody who would bite the head off a chicken and eat it. But other non-freak performers include, you know, sword swallowers, fire eaters, that sort of thing. Uh, but it also includes the human blockhead. So this is a four inch common nail. Uh, you can pick it up at your local hardware store. Uh, it doesn't bend in any way. There's no way to collapse it. It's just a real nail. When traditional sideshow performers do this, they'll take a hammer and they will hammer it into their sinus. But I don't do that because I value my life. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. This is called the human blockhead. I'm gonna shove this four inches of nail into my nose. Oh, and uh, first I should probably say something to the youngsters about trying this at home. Wear a helmet. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So. Oof. Now, uh, that's about halfway into my nose. Makes me feel a little tingly inside. This is called the human blockhead because you'd have to be an absolute blockhead to try this yourself. That's what she looks like. Now, I know what you're thinking. That doesn't look like it's in all the way. You're right, I was just taking a break. Watch. Okay, ow, ow. Um, so right now I can feel uh, the tip of the nail at the top of my throat. And every time that I talk or uh, swallow, I can feel the nail kind of doing this sort of thing. Now that was an interesting way to put a nail into my nose. Here's an interesting way to take it out. I'm just gonna use the muscles in my nose here, watch. BT dubs don't use the daiquiri glasses at my house. Okay. Oh. I thought there was blood on there, but it's not. So that was the human blockhead. It's my go-to party trick and my sort of weird body quirk. Uh, so down in the comments of this video, tell me what some of your strange party tricks and body quirks are. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You all have a good day and I'm gonna go blow my nose. Ew, it got a little dirty in there. Let me clean it up. Mmm. Um. What? It's called cleanliness.